All right, we're in downtown Dayton today. This is Dayton Dave and Road Trip, Trip Rich. Rich. Yes, we're here with our buddies Orville and Wilbur, and we're going to check out the Inventors Walk in downtown Dayton, Ohio. stop is going to be with Dayton's own Charles Kettering. Now Kettering had the second most patents of any person behind Thomas Edison. One of his most famous ones though was the self-starting starter for your engine, which is what this particular one is designed for here. And I don't know if you'd be able to make it out here, but they've got a list of all of his different pack numbers. It's curled all the way around here along with a couple of quotes from him including, you never get anywhere doing the obvious way. There will always be a, there will always be a frontier where there is an open mind and a willing hand. That's Charles Kettering, Dayton's most famous inventor. Well, maybe not most famous, but most prolific. Also, there's this tribute to this search engine developed by Me Data Central. Okay, and what we have here is Arthur P. Morgan's invention, the hydraulic jump dam. Now, during the summertime, this will be full of water and we'll give you a little better demonstration of how it works, but this is a unique chance to actually see the interior of it as an old man like myself climbs up the steps. Pretty interesting there. And Arthur Morgan came here to Dayton and tried his invention after the great 1913 flood of Dayton, which was one of the great natural disasters, especially in this area, in the 20th century. And of course, Dayton's most famous invention, the airplane, Wilbur and Orville Wright. Another Dayton invention that I'm sure we all use every day. Rich, you ever open a cold one? Oh yeah. Yeah, so Ermel Ermel Frey's invented the pop top. Now you remember the these are for older people like us. Remember these ring ones where you could tear them off and make a big chain out of them? Yep. But now, how did they open them before the pop top? I don't know, like can of oil, how did they do it? Just punch a hole in it and pour it or can opener. Can opener. And before that, they had like what they call a cone top. So it's like a plastic uh, drink glass, you know how it dumbs up and has a lid. Yeah, like a sippy cup. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So Frey's really made getting drunk a lot funner and easier. It's hard <laughs> to shotgun one back in those days. Yep. Now he also invented the uh, more modern one you see where it'll punch in and stay on the can. The incorruptible cashier, the cash register, was invented by Riddy, and he ended up selling that invention to NCR uh, Patterson, who really took off with it and turned it into what it became. Our final stop for today is going to be at Arthur Frey's invention, who invented the uh, one of his most famous one was the ice cube tray. So you put your water in here, smash down on that, and you'd have yourself 
some ice for your drinks. Maybe use the phrase uh, tanner top pop open some beer. I hope you've enjoyed this stroll through Dayton's and Venner's River Walk, and who knows where the toll road will lead to next.